Hello and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 31. In this tutorial we are going to look at implementing our camera class. First let's go ahead and in our graphics filter let's add a new item. We are going to call this camera. And in our graphics filter at the bottom let's add the CPP. I'm going to call that camera. Now at the top right we will click on show all files and we are going to move the camera CPP and header up to our graphics folder. And now we can uncheck show all files and let's go to the camera header. So we are going to include our DirectX math header. We are going to use the namespace DirectX so we don't have to type DirectX before everything we use. For our camera class, we're going to have the default constructor, which will just set the position and rotation to zero, to be at the center of the world and not rotate it at all. Uh, we're going to have our set projection values, which is just setting the values for the projection matrix. We're going to have a way to retrieve our view matrix and a way to retrieve our projection matrix. We're going to have a way to retrieve our position as an XM vector and as an XM float 3 as well as retrieve our rotation as a vector or a float 3. We are going to be able to set our position, adjust our position, and set our rotation and adjust our rotation by either passing in an XM vector or alternatively by just passing in an X, Y, and Z value. We have this update view matrix function and this will be called any time the rotation is modified or the position is modified. And what this will do is it will calculate the new values for our view matrix. Uh, our pose vector is just where we're storing our vector for our position. Our rotation vector is the vector for rotation. We have a float 3 to store our position as well and a float 3 to store the rotation. And then we have an, a matrix for our view matrix and a matrix for our projection matrix. Down here we have constant variables for our default forward vector and our default up vector. As I said before, our up direction is always going to be the positive y-axis for this engine. And the default forward vector is just going to be down the positive z-axis. So let's take a look at the CPP. So for our constructor, we are setting the position float 3, and we are loading this into our position vector with XM load float 3. We are setting our rotation and loading in our rotation. And then we are calling update view matrix to update the view matrix. Of course, we have set projection values, which is self-explanatory. It takes the field of view in as degrees and converts it to radians for when it actually uh, creates the projection matrix. Next, we have our get view matrix and get projection matrix. That's pretty self-explanatory. Get position vector, get position float three, uh, get rotation vector, get rotation float 3. Now for set position, we are just storing uh, the, if, it, if, if they pass in a vector, you know, we're, we're calling XM store float 3 and storing it in the position, and then we're updating the position vector, and then we're just calling update view matrix. And you know, if they pass in the XYZ components, we're updating the float 3 first, and then loading that into the vector, and updating the view matrix. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory for all of this, so I'm just not really going to cover the set position, adjust position, set rotation, and adjust rotation, because there's nothing uh, to really talk about there. But let's take a look at the update view matrix, because this is new. So before, when we were calculating the view matrix, we were passing in things like the eye position, the forward vector, and... Uh, or no, not the forward vector, we were passing in the I position, the up direction, and then the target where we were looking. So what we are going to do is we're going to determine our target by looking at our forward vector multiplied by our camera's rotation. So first we have to get the camera's rotation matrix. So we're going to do this by calling roll pitch Xia. We're going to pass in our rotation around the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Next, we are going to calculate the uh, camera's target using this rotation matrix. So the way we'll do that 
is we're going to uh, call him XM Vector 3 Transform Chord to transform our forward vector. And we are going to transform it by the rotation matrix. So that will be the direction that we are looking. However, we need to get the actual coordinate of that direction we're looking. So we're going to take this cam target and we're going to add our position vector. So this will get the actual coordinate we are looking at and not just the direction from the origin. Next we need to calculate the up direction and we're just going to uh, take our default up vector and then rotate it by our cam rotation matrix. And then we recalculate the view matrix. You know, the first argument is our eye position, which we can just access from pose vector. And then the next argument is our target where we are looking at. So we would pass in that cam target we calculated. And then the up direction. So let's look at implementing this new camera class and using it. Let's go to the graphics header. We are going to include camera. Also keep in mind we were using namespace DirectX, so we won't have to prefix everything with DirectX now. We are going to add an object, call it camera. Now let's go to our initialized scene, and we will initialize the camera's values. We are going to set the camera position to be negative uh, two on the Z axis and in the center for X and Y. So it's the same as the last tutorial, how we had set that position. We are not going to change the camera's rotation, so it'll just be looking forward. And let's set the uh, projection values. So for the field of view, we'll just do 90. For the aspect ratio, we will pass in the uh, window width divided by the window height. Static cast or a lot of text. All right, and then the near Z, we do 0.1F, just like the last tutorial, and then 1,000 for the far Z. Let's go up to our render frame. All right, and I'm just going to take out these uh, direct X prefixes. So we have our world matrix, which that's going to stay the same. This is going to be the identity matrix. And we can take out all of this other crap. And what we're going to do is we're going to have our world times camera dot get view matrix times camera dot get projection matrix. So let's test this out. Make sure it works. All right. And we get exactly what we expected. Now, if we wanted to, um, let's say, move the camera up. Uh, adjust position, we could, uh, you know, just pass in 0 0.1 for the Y value. And now you see the camera will move up, but it's not looking down at that, uh, you know, it's not like in the last tutorial when we had moved it up, our look at position was still the center of the world. However, now the camera is just looking ahead. So, that is all that we are going to cover in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are actually going to look at adding a set camera uh, look at function. And what that will do is it will actually uh, turn the camera to look at a certain coordinate. Now, in the last tutorial, we had done it really easily by just setting it in the uh, view matrix. However, with all of these new features, with being able to set and adjust the position and the rotation, we can't just set uh, our look at because then we won't be able to adjust the rotation. So what we are going to do is we're going to be first going over the mathematical way to uh, solve this. And then we are going to actually get into the code of doing it.